It has taken six million years to get to this point. Australopithecus afarensis, or what we've been calling the Lucy evolution. Now, it's definitely not been easy having to learn what it takes to survive in these prehistoric times with creatures literally waiting around every corner. <laughs> But somehow, we have survived, and we kept going. And after a few generation jumps, and of course, a few elder deaths later, we reached a point where I was about ready to evolve once more into the future. Although, just before I did that, I thought it would be a great idea to make sure I discovered this land from top to bottom. Oh, I think we found it. I see something that looks like an oasis here. Ooh, has that got a cave with it too? Oh, it does. Look at that. The last shelter oasis. Ooh, I like that. Look at the size of that cave. Oh, it's got a little bit of a spooky vibe to it. Hear those bats? Is that our new home? Right, there we go. We're going to get some sleep. Everybody catch some sleep. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this as the new settlement. Is everybody here? No. Oh, boy. So I think what I've just done might have just cost me hours. <laughs> oh, no. I made this my settlement, and I thought... It would mean that maybe, like, you would see a transition of them moving across the land because we can all walk up right now. But I guess without a leader, they won't do that because this is all that I have. Okay, so welcome back to some more ancestors. Now, I'm sure I've filled you in on the gaps, but just in case anybody's confused, we're on a bit of a rescue mission right now. It has been crazy since this Lucy evolution, and I mean that as well. I've been going around exploring, trying to fill in any of the blanks for any areas that we haven't found. It turns out there's actually a few areas that I haven't found. Either that or they reset after a generational jump or an evolution, and I just didn't remember that. Either way... We've got more areas that we can find. It's not just this one that we've discovered. Now, if you're also wondering, why bother with these guys? They're all elders. They're going to die anyway. The point being is that we started this together. We're finishing it together. And if I can't bring the whole group here, I'm bringing them back. We're on a rescue mission. So, first things first. Let me drop that. I'm going to switch hands. All right, I'm going to have something to drink because this is breakfast. And I'm going to stop. There we go. Okay, everybody's working with me today. <laughs> It's been wild, guys. It really has. Are you going to keep going? Right, I'm going to see if I drink a little bit more and then stop. Oh, okay, they will do that. All right. So when everything's working, it's really, really nice. And they all work together. Right, let's switch hands. We're going to alter this and rip a little bit of that off. Can you guys do that too? You're not going to do it, are you? Hold on. Let me go back to this hand and then switch hands. There we go. And then alter it. And then rip it. Nice. Will you guys do it now? Perfect. Switch back to this hand. And now we can grub out on some coconut. Oh, yeah. Tastes good, right? Even if this is going to be probably your last meal. Because there's no guarantees I'm going to get you all back there to where we're living. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this. I do like doing this, though. I need to do this more often. I mean, I don't know how long it is left in this. I hope this isn't the last episode, by the way. I really don't. I'm having way too much fun with it. But I should have just basically gone around areas with smaller pockets of the group. 
Because it, even though like the solo aspect to it is really, really fun, going around in a group like this, it just feels that extra special, okay? <laughs> it, it just does. Right, everybody, pick up a stick. Uh, actually, let me put this down because sometimes you guys get a little bit crazy when I switch hands after picking something up. There we go. You're not going to do it? You're just going to be awkward? Am I going to have to pass you that? There you go. If you want to be lazy, there you go. Right. And then I guess I'll leave you guys with just one in your hand for now. Yeah, having a free hand is a little bit better. Okay, so I guess I should tell you about this as well because this might look a little bit out of place. If you remember back in the kind of waterfall oasis area when I did the first, I want to say fence. It wasn't really a fence. It was just a bunch of sticks like <laughs> leaned up against each other. But when I did that, I've tried it again with the thorn bushes that look like, oh, hello, that look like this. And I got the help of the rest of them just to stack another one up. And I'm going to show you guys what they look like when you build them up because I'm definitely going to do this probably on the last evolution. So let's just go ahead and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So you flatten them all out like that and then essentially you just build them up into a fence. Use the thorn bush as a tool at least twice. There you go. And that's kind of what you get. So if you do have these bushes in the area, they're definitely worth throwing up into that kind of protective wall or fence, I guess. Let me just move that out of the way. There we go. Don't want anybody getting prickled in the ankles, especially now we've not got the fur there for that extra protection anymore. Right, give me that stick. Okay, so I think we're about... Oh, no, we're not ready to go yet. Everybody follow me. This area is brutal with the sun. So what we're going to have to do is everybody come over here. Come on. Over this side. Listen to that. It is kind of spooky in here. All right, drop that down on the floor. Everybody do the same. Come on. We're going to have to have something to drink. This is going to give us that vital protection for the journey back. Again, I'm not going to guarantee I get everybody home safe. Because it can be a little bit challenging. Like, if you keep it moving, especially at a pace, sometimes it goes without a problem. But if you do move at speed... These guys can run into everything and anything. <laughs> and that's generally why I've not been using that sprint function. I've seen a few people asking me about that. Wait, why is that not giving us the protection? That's strange. Oh, here we go. Okay, this could be our first obstacle. Oh, all that one could be. Wow, okay. Definitely keep your head on a swivel. I wonder if I can make these guys... Go into the snake. I don't mean my guys. I meant the uh, the two cats. Let's try and go around the outside. Okay, they're laying down there. We got a little bit of that protection from the sun too. And that's why I kept one of the hands empty as well. So I can just drop the stick and it's not too complicated picking two of them back up. You see, I say that. <laughs> it's not overly complicated. Once you get the hang of the, uh, the mechanic of them grabbing stuff. Especially if you bring them with you a lot. It becomes second nature. Yeah, there we go. No drama. We're round. Nice and easy. I really do love this area too. It's so, so cool. I still haven't decided where we're going to set up shop for our final home. And again, I don't know if... Okay, we need some water. I don't know if the last one is going to be the final evolution. I really don't. I guess we're going to find out when we get closer to that one million year mark. But seeing as though we are closing that distance now, I'm assuming it's one, maybe two. I think it's one, but it could be two. <laughs> you can see I'm on the fence about it, but yeah. We're going to get some water. We're going to keep it moving. Right, let's just make sure the area is safe. You guys with me still? There is a rock around here as well. Right, let's drop our sticks for a second. There you go. And everybody over here, cool your ankles off and just get something to drink. Come on. Fill up as much as you can. We're going to need it. We might not be stopping again. There you go. That delicious, nice and cold water as well in the shadow of the mountain. I think that stone that's up there is one that we left too when we uh, when we came round here before. Also, I don't know if when they're drink. Oh, they do stop once they're done. That's right. Okay, now I remember. Okay, so they're all full up now. And before we pick our sticks up, we are going to get something to eat too. So grab one of these. Mom, get your berries. These guys will pick through all of this, no problem. Right, eat. These should be good as well. Do the same. There you go. Grub out. 
Right, we should be good then. So this is going to tie us over for a little bit. It might not fill us all the way up, but it's something. Ooh. Is that one I've got before? Did I see a stick? Oh, you are. You're hobbling. Oh. When did I get... Oh, maybe. Maybe you were on the way down here and one of you guys got him. Because I don't remember, remember getting him. I panicked for a second. I couldn't see where the last one was, but he's over there. Is this your home? Yeah, we're struggling a little bit. All right, we're nearly out of this area now. Oh, yeah, this is this is its home. I can see it there. Please do Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Bad time. What are you doing back there? And that is how you do it, okay? This is where we're going to bed down for the night, too. We are really working through this cat. I think only one of them has stopped eating because they're full, but the other two, <laughs> they are just filling up on everything that's left, which is fine. But the bad news is it's getting really early morning now. Look at that. I think we should get a couple of hours in just so we're not exhausted. So I'm going to do that right now. Everybody get some sleep. Just a couple of hours, we'll do it. And let's get you guys back home. Once again, I could have easily left them there because they're elders and let's face it, they're not going to be here after this next either generation jump or evolution, but it just felt wrong to leave them, you know? I led them there. I needed to bring them back to safety, even if it is their last thing. Right, so what I want to do then is just make sure... That this is definitely the settlement. End expedition. We got them back. Is that all of them? I only saw two walk in, but I'm going to say all of them made it back. Okay. All right. So <laughs> we did. We got them all back. And I did go ahead. This is what I was doing. I was prepping just a load of stuff in case we needed to leave. I've got some there choppers. We got some of the sticks if we need it. I've got the grinding stuff in case we need to make anything for, for healing. And then we got all of this as well. Which is this? This is the aloe, right? Yeah, this is the aloe. So I placed all that down there too. Okay, so it's time. 2.9 million years ago, where are we going to get to? Let's see. Oh, I'm so nervous now. Right. Intimidated a black mamba. That gives us 24,500 years. Intimidated a black jackal. 34, almost 35,000 years. Ocean's Last Shelter Oasis. So we didn't get a lot of the feats in this one. So there shouldn't be too many. Made the Black Jackal kill the Black Mamba. Okay, yeah, that was cool. I like that one. Made the Hyena kill the Miocene African Horse. 44,000. Used the Thornbush as a tool at least twice. I didn't actually know that was an evolution feat, but I guess anything that you do or discover could be an evolution feat. Feet years is 221,000. Ahead of time bonus is 15,000. Fulfillment years is 25. And the differential is 1.3 faster than science. I don't know if that's going to be enough to jump ahead. 291,000. Okay. We're not got it yet. Okay, so as you guys can see, I've made it back into the jungle with my friend. We're okay for now, but I've got a bit of an issue. Everywhere I'm looking, I've discovered these areas. And I can't find any question marks for spots that we haven't been to yet. Everywhere we look, <laughs> we've pretty much been to. Even all the way up there. I also love being back here, by the way. It's amazing. But I had a bit of an idea. I made a little bed, and when you go and have a look at the evolution, if you go across to, where does it say it? You can see like certain areas you've been to. There we go, Jungle Master Explorer. If you click on that, you can see over this side, we've discovered all of these apart from that one. So that tells me there's one missing, right? I think that's what it means anyway. If not, let me just have another look. Ocean Master. Oh yeah, look, there's another one there. Yeah, there's definitely one that we haven't found. So if we click on... Yeah, we can't really see or get an idea of where they might be. 
Birth of a cartographer. Oh, wait, is this all of them? Oh, wait, there we go. There we go. We can see. So there's three there. Four, five, six, seven. So there's seven potential ones that we haven't found yet? Okay, if we go back to the jungle explorer. So there's one here. Okay, even if it is one, we're going to try and find it. If I can't, then I guess we'll move to a different location. All right, guys, I got some good news. I think I found it. Well, I know I found it. There's one area just over there. Oh, there's two. Can I memorize two of them? I can, right? Yeah, there we go. So there's two of them just around there. So it was the case. I did pretty much stick fairly heavily over to the right side of the jungle, which is good news for me. Because then we've got two areas now that we can discover, which is really going to help with the evolution. I think, anyway. Because I'm pretty sure it's like 20 to 30,000 years of, uh, of advancing once you find these areas. Wow, that's beautiful. That really is nice. Look at that. I was talking about the jungle a second ago, about how much I love it. And it still surprises me. Come on. I really wish they would kind of mimic your movements too. I don't know how hard that would be to do for them, but certain paths that I take across the jungle, I'd love to be able to turn around and see them doing the same thing. It's one thing you doing it, but being able to see the perspective of them like jumping down out the canopy or something. The Otter's Den. That's not a good name. <laughs> These guys can be dangerous when they're together. God, we're really out the way here. Look at that. That's tucked so far away from that jungle area. I wonder if I go round to the left there, if we're going to see... Ooh, whoa. I just saw one of them attack my friend. Don't you do it. No, pick up your stick. Pick it up. Okay, so far, so good. It's not been anywhere near as difficult as I thought it was going to be. Right, that's the area that I remember finding. Because this is where a meteorite hit, right? It was like over there somewhere. And then I thought about climbing that. <laughs> Which I might do. I don't know. Still a possibility, but right now I need to get this. I thought I got that. Again, if it does reset, like through generations or evolutions, then let me know in the comments. All right, let's discover this. The Highland Plateau. Okay, so a brand new day. And I found some more areas, which is pretty much around the back of the area that we ended up. So that's why I missed them. But where the hell is that taking me? That's like out in the middle of nowhere. So let's go and explore. Grab the side of it. Oh, I love that. Nice. <laughs> Just use it to slow us down. Oh, that's way out there. Wait, what? Whoa! Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Oh. I didn't even see them. All right, let's conquer our fear. <laughs> I thought that thing attacked me then. So where are we going to get to? Oh, wait, it's right out there. Some piggies. Okay, can I get it from here, please? No, I've got to be on that. Oh, that's, that's death. That is so death. Careful, buddy, you got a massive crocodile after you there. I'm going for it. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, they're just sat out in the open. Why is that one, like, right there? It's got to be this rock that we're on. 
the Great Lake. Please don't panther showing my friend has been eaten by that crocodile now. Please, no. Oh, I didn't see him. Oh, no. Oh, he's there. Get out of the water, you idiot. Come on. Over this way. What? Oh, another one. Oh, we're in the water, too. That's so sick. The death roll. Oh. Oh, I love that. That might be my favorite one so far. Oh, get out the water, though. Ooh, get out of the water, please. Oh, get up. Thank you. Where is he? Oh, I'm just getting away from this area for a second. Come on. <laughs> Can you hear him screaming back there? There he is. Come on. I mean, if I wanted to get revenge on the otters, that is the best way to do it. One of them got snapped up in like an ambush off the side of the shore. And then another one just got annihilated in the water. And then we saw that iconic death roll. Prehistoric crocodile death roll. Right, we're closing on the other two. We, we can definitely get these. Ooh, look at this. This is a really nice spot. Is there any death here, though? Probably about seven cats just made this their home. All right, let's discover it. Head of Stone Oasis. All right, there's another one discovered, and the final one is over in that direction. Okay, yeah, we just got to familiarize ourselves with the area a little bit. Shouldn't be too hard. Again, it's been such a long time since we had to, to do any of this. Kind of cool going back again. Going backwards to go forwards kind of deal. Come on, show me that light. There it is. And conquer that fear. Takes us back. The days where we were just running and screaming in fear at everything. I mean, nothing's changed too much. I still do that. I just feel a little bit more confident because I'm on two legs doing it rather than all fours. <laughs> Let's go over to this one. The Funneling Arch. Look at that. Okay, right. Let's take a look and see if we have... Oh, there we go. One of them's ready to go. Yep, there it is. Discovered the jungle's head of stone oasis. So that is ready to go for the evolution. I've just got to get back to the settlement and then I can do it. But... Oh, wait, we got another one. Or two more with this. Yeah, so it's just three left. And look at that as well. Like, some of them actually go from 20,000 all the way to 40,000. Is there any more than that? 44, 49. 49 is the, is the highest one so far. I mean, from the ones we've discovered. Okay. So, you can see at the bottom of the screen there, 2.6 million years is where we're at right now. And we've discovered a lot there. Do we head back and do another evolution? Or do I continue to try? No, we're not ending yet. We're not ending yet. I can't wait. For everybody that's been rocking with me so far with this series, I owe it to you guys. We're going to keep it going. I'm going to make my way all the way back to the Baobab tree. And I'm going to make my way down to the ocean and try and discover that last one. I don't know where the other two would be, though. The Eroded Cliffs. Did we discover this one last time? I really can't remember if we did. We, I know we walked past it because this was where we were speaking about Seal Island, right? 
Yeah, I really can't remember. Well, I guess we'll find out in a second. If I find some of the uh, the Natal grass to, uh, to make a bed with, we should be able to see. Oh, look at that. It's the Ocean Sand Garden Oasis. And I definitely did find that on a previous evolution. So, okay, that makes more sense. So the way I was thinking about it was it's got to be areas that I haven't discovered yet. But it actually turns out it was this one. Which, if I'm not mistaken, this one should be the Sand Garden one, right? Yeah, so it's this one. And we definitely discovered this because this is right after, like, the Pirate Cove area. I thought it was that one back there. Okay, well, at least we know that now. It just could be a spot that needs rediscovering from this new group, or I guess new evolved version of the ape moving into new areas that it's never discovered before because obviously it's been a long time since any of them have been there. I guess that's how it works. Okay, so we made it back in one piece. I'm just going to have a little check on some of the stuff that we have ready to go. So, oh, they're actually pretty good. So we got two of these here that are going to add to that. What's this one? This is the jungle one that we found. Yeah, that's just one of them. And then the ocean one should be the one we found. The birth of a cartographer. So this is going to give us a lot then, right? Because we discovered a lot with that one. And then being one with the universe, I guess I could just retrace my steps to find those. All right, so seeing as though we made it back, I said that I was going to do another evolutionary leap. So... That's what we're going to do. Fingers crossed it isn't the last one, but if it is, I've had a wild ride with this, so I'll be satisfied. Here we go. Let's see what we got. The first one, discovered the dying waterfall as a memorable location, so that's basically rediscovering stuff, and we're going to get all the new things as well. Dodged an attack from a hippopotamus. <laughs> Don't say it. Oh, no, there's another one. Made a hippopotamus killer. The, the cat, I can never say that one. That was like another plus five as well. Okay, so that's 100,000 years. Which, ooh, 18 births. Ooh, we're getting quite close here now to two and a half. Oh, no, we've gone past it. So we did. We broke over 100,000 years there, which I didn't think we would get. <gasps> this is, this is a new one. Australopithecus africanus, the tongue child. Oh, that's such a cool shot. Oh, see, so you can actually look at that. Just grubbing out on what is that, a piggy? Yeah, it's a pig. Oh, they're looking so much more like humans now. Oh, wow. So where are we going to end up then? Okay, this isn't a bad spot. This is, this is familiar territory to me. We've got a cave there as well, which is good. Oh, wow. Look at how different these guys are now. They've got like a strip down their back. We've got like hair missing on the back of the knee, on the back of the bicep too. Yeah, look at that on the back there. Oh, that we're definitely becoming more human now. You look really, really cool. It's so weird to see though. Because, like, we're so used to seeing, like, the hulking figure of an ape just going through the jungles and stuff. And now, obviously, now we've ventured further out. We're becoming way more, or as I guess, closer to humans. So this one is known as Australopithecus africanus. So is, does that mean there's one more, then? Okay, new ability. What else have we got? Yeah, we should get, like, a few of these now. Endorphins, efficiency. This is all just bonus stuff. Anything we get here is just... We'll take it. Ambulation speed, movement speed. That's always nice. I like the physical stuff. Climb speed increased. Carrying speed. Oh, that could be good. Get, like, the group to bring some stuff over if we need it, if we want to build up. That's what I did say I was going to do. Inflicting lethal blows is increased. Okay, that's good. So there's more of a chance of taking down predators and stuff if we need to get those feats. So there it is then. So how close are we now? What? So we are, we're like just below two and a half million years. So there will be another evolution. I think. Oh, I think. Is there going to be another evolution? So fast forward almost six hours. <laughs> I'm not even joking, guys. I've been going around the map and I've been trying to complete the feats that we were close to. And the good news is... 
I've managed to, I think, get a lot of them done, which should catapult us quite far into the future. Now, there is one area that I wanted to show you guys because I've been mentioning it throughout the episodes. Remember that kind of big mountain area? I said one day, or I'm not sure if I should attempt it. Well, turns out that was another area that I didn't discover, and I believe it was like the last one that we needed to find. I discovered it by pure accident, but this is what happened. at that. So literally feeling on top of the world after discovering all the landmarks I believe that we're able to find in Ancestors, I decided to make my way down and try and find that meteorite that just crashed in and that's when I nearly gave myself a heart attack. <laughs> okay, I should be able to do this where I just cling onto the side of the mountain and kind of slide down. Okay, a little bit sketch, but we managed it. Ooh! So trying to take full advantage of the massive amounts of adrenaline that are running through my body right now, I was going past the caves, and that's where the giant centipedes live. Now, I knew for a fact that I needed to kill one of these things because it's been a long time coming, and I've just basically been avoiding these caves at all costs because of the webs and obviously because of these things, but it was time to take one down. I also found out the hard way that it's not just the eagles that you have to watch out for because while I was roaming around the ocean area looking for otters and any new discoverable areas, this happened.
Okay, so as you guys can see, we are now back over at the baobab tree. Up until like 30 minutes ago, there were two animals that I can remember off the top of my head that I haven't intimidated. One of them was the buffalo, and we just did that on our way back. It was nothing like too interesting. I just ran into one of them scared, and then I got the, uh, I got the feet. But I can't remember intimidating an elephant. So let's see what happens. Okay, here it is. Oh, it works! Yes! Oh, I was so scared. I thought somebody was going to get nailed for sure. Okay. <laughs> should we just get rid of it for all time's sake? Or should we scare it now? Because we don't even have to fight. Look at this. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so... I think we are about ready then. I'm going to actually take this entire group from the Baobab area. I was going to take them down to the ocean, but... I've had a change of heart. We're going back over to the falls up there. That is probably my favorite spot. So that's where we're going. And we're going to double time it too. Because I'm not scared anymore running through this grass. I'm going to scare you off as well. You're going to turn. Here it is. Oh, it's look at all of the neurons firing. Oh, we're such a smart species. This poor guy and the rest of the group are running on fumes right now. They are exhausted. So, I think I did set a bed up down there, but just for the simple fact that it's going to be beautiful when we get to the top of this. And this guy right here, if I'm not mistaken, this is Caesar. He's an elder. I think he's going to be the last one before our final evolution. If not, if there's another evolution, then it's not going to be many years. So I guess this is going to be the big last jump. But look at him. He's leading his group to safer lands. I say that. There's cats. There's, there's everything around here. No, <laughs> nowhere in this prehistoric time is safe. But let's just pretend it is. Okay. <laughs> We've mastered these lands now. Kind of. Knowing my luck now, the one that I've named Caesar is going to slip and drown going off this waterfall <laughs> someone's going to anyway there's no way it's going to be smooth sailing oh there we go it is go on jump across i'd love to see that just navigating the land so cool it's one of my favorite parts of this you've probably noticed that as well during this series that i've spent a lot more time like just playing the game in a lot of areas where I have brought you guys in on what's happened. Probably during this episode too. Purely because I, I forget. <laughs> That's the honest truth. I forget that I'm actually recording a video for you guys. And it's just, it's just super enjoyable to play and experience. So yeah, for everybody that has been part of this, thank you. It's, uh, it's been a special one. And we're not done yet. If you guys do want to see more, then I'm sure we can do a special video. But in terms of like the evolutions and stuff, I see that in the tall grass time to put a bed down so grab this put this right here this is where caesar's place is gonna be you guys can have your own areas wherever you want them this one is caesar's where's the next one is there no more grass yeah there is there's some there oh i should have put it here no no i'm gonna change it it's gonna be here like right in this spot there we go Everybody's going to find their own place. Get used to it. 34,000 years. Plus another 2,500. I did get quite a lot. So I'm not guaranteeing that we're going to do this. To get to that, I guess it's the 1 million year mark, right? I think that's what we got to hit. But we should get a huge amount of time ahead here because of everything that i did i mean look at this you guys can see i'm gonna let this roll too so you can see exactly what i discovered while i was away some of them will be familiar some of them will not and i guess some of them are going to be complete sets now as well i think the one that i really did struggle with was was the meteorite one the areas of of knowing where all those were i guess i could look it up but there was uh, it was just too hard to remember where those areas were and i wasn't really too worried about it unless i have to go back and get them but we should be all right. We're, we're definitely flying through the years. We've already taken off like 200,000. So if we can get under that 2 million year mark, I'll be happy with that. Even if we don't finish this now. We're closing on it though. Come on, 10,000 years. Big old boost. 2.1, another 34,000 years. Plus 5,000. Oh yeah, Oh, I think I think this might be it, guys. 
So 13 feats added, two fulfillments that we got from that, which I believe gives you a big old bonus. I, I think one of them was the cartographer one, so finding everything. I'm not sure what the other one was. Ahead of time bonus, 17,000 years, 1.4 million year differential. So evolving faster than science, 1.4 million years. The evolutionary leap so far is 485,000. We've got a little bit more to go though. Please. Oh, there was a death? Wait, when? That's 5,000 years off as well. Wow. Okay, 12 births. 12,000 years added. Oh, we did it. We go underneath the 2 million years. So, there we go. Homo ergaster. Turcano boy. Through the passage of time, you have progressed to become what is known as the Homo ergaster. I don't think I've ever heard that before. I really did expect something different, but look how human they look. You've moved through time 1.9 million years before now, and we brought back to the world to catch up on your lineage. Wait, can you play as these? Showing the different stages of evolution. Okay, I thought that was familiar. So we're going through what we experienced on this entire adventure. It seems like such a... Look at that. It seems like such a simple idea to do something like this, but it needs to be done well to enjoy it. There's the last one we got with the piggy. So what do we get now? Look at them all in the background. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's so cool. That's us. Oh, there we go. Oh, we don't get to play with them. No. Oh, I would have loved to have roamed this land looking like that. Oh, that's such a tease. I wonder if that's going to be the next one then. They have already announced that they had ideas down on paper, and I believe it was like a two million year timeline that they could play with. So there is a lot of room to, to mess around with different evolutions, different times and stuff like that. Even if they want to go that way, they could completely change it. But yeah, I, I really hope they do release a sequel and soon too, because I need more of this. I don't mind telling you guys, I'm a little bit heartbroken. There was a continue button, and I thought that was going to be the dev sneaky way of letting us play around with that final evolution, but I guess not. I guess they have got plans for where this evolutionary line takes us. So guys, for now, this is where we're going to end. If you do want to see more of this, because there are still a few things that I would really like to see, then drop a like on the video. If you have found my channel through this series, thank you so much for subscribing. I do see all the new faces, and I just want to say welcome on in, and thank you very much for giving me a chance to basically have your time. It means the world to me that you guys stick around and you leave kind comments, or you get involved with these series and these adventures that we go on. So you are excited for the next one, wherever it takes us. Make sure you are subscribed. Drop a like on the video if you have enjoyed. And if you want some more of this, because I do have some ideas that we can mess around with. And as always, I will see you all in the next one.